Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance came out back in 2013. And if I'm being completely honest, I remember when trailers were coming out back then promoting this game, and I was just kind of rolling my eyes at it. It just looked like a batshit insane take on the Metal Gear franchise. And honestly, I didn't think much of it. And so this game came off my radar for a full decade. However, cut to now in the present day, 2023, and all I ever hear from everybody who's played this game is that it's a hidden gem that should not be missed. On top of that, this game's platinum trophy has been an ultra rare, with a 0.7% earn rate globally. And it has stayed this way for a very long time. This game would also present itself to be a great challenge to overcome, with a handful of trophies being genuinely difficult. Come on! Please, God, let me make it! No! Ugh. And so naturally, I heard the call and decided to pick up a copy of this game for my PS3. It was time to find out what exactly I had been missing for all these years. <laughs> So his combo just never ends, he can just keep slashing forever. I'm gonna catch you up! Okay! Ninja run! Oh my god! Who was that? A cyborg. God, Quentin Flynn's voice sounds so sick sometimes, man. The way he said that was clean. Yes, sir. Let's get this over with. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Uh oh. Whoa! Oh. Being able to do this shit without uh, taking damage is gonna take some practice, that's for damn sure. Jesus Christ. Why is this game so f***ing epic, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, die! Jeez! Oh, I got a nasty C rank. Well, we're locked in now. We're locked into the journey. We got a trophy, baby! Dude, this game has 61 trophies. That's meaty! I'm on the ground. Oh, you know we're skipping this shit. So I gotta freaking talk to every single one of those bozos every time I run into an enemy or watch a cutscene or f***ing take a shit? God damn! That's gonna get old. All right, time to have a bunch of- oh shit. No! Can you shut the f*** up so I could call you on the phone? They used to call me on my cell phone. Hey, Boris. Hey, Boris, I was just wondering. All that shit you said about these enemies earlier? Can you tell me some more shit? Thanks. Of course, do not let your guard down. Thanks, dude. Now, by the way, I'm just gonna call you right back. The stealth craft. We love yeah. trophies like this. We love them, don't we, chat? Talk no jutsu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Holy f bro. Yeah, because there's this fing trophy to talk to these assholes, like at every given moment throughout the game. And like at the start of the level they have unique dialogue. During a fight, they have unique dialogue. After a fight, they have unique dialogue. After a cutscene, they have unique dialogue. Like, you just gotta talk to them non kids stop, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna be talking to these assholes more than I'm playing the actual game! I've listened to all this without skipping. If I wasn't the man I am today who has no f***ing time for this shit, I would be listening to this, but I don't. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I missed the square like 20 times. 
No. You're in for one hell of a ride. Hey, don't worry. I may I may uh, start the race a little slow, but I pick it up. Don't worry. Oh, f I just had like a ton of battles, bro. I probably got some I dialogue. Yeah, no, We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Shut up! Exterminate. Okay. Bruh, I didn't know it was gonna get all epic on just like what looks to be a bog standard enemy. What does it kill you? This man said stop. Hell no. We don't stop. Never. I forgot to call my dipshit allies. No! Oh. All right, what do, you, what do you dipshits have to say about what just happened? They're gonna start sucking my dick now. Oh, Ryan, that was amazing! Oh, you're so brilliant and talented and handsome. Oh, yeah. Can I suck your dick? Hey, Boris, what do you got to say about what's going on right now? Hey Kevin, what do you think about these fucking helicopters? I know I'm in the middle of a fucking chase, but uh, what's going on, guys? How's it going? <laughs> Riding. Long time no see. I haven't heard from you in the last five minutes. How you doing, my boy? He's not in enough pieces. Oh my God, it's me! Chat, I didn't know I was in this game. <gasps> She saw me. She saw me creeping a little sneak peek. Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. What did that mean? What, what, did, what do you mean you dodged a bullet? Like a metaphorical bullet? Right and just pressed triangle in the cutscene? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Boris. Mr. Boris. I saw this woman. She blew a f***ing kiss at me. And I dodged a bullet. Right no. out. And those, hey, uh, Boris, I just saw some no, flowers. No, no, no. Well, I thought. Why don't you tell me what kind they are? This is a. Hey, What's Boris, no. I gotta and take a shit. Uh, you know a place to do that? If, no. Hey, Boris. Any better, I. How's your mom? <laughs> what do you think, even? No. And no. And better, I have Oh. Yay! Oh wait, shit, hang on. Hang on, I gotta call Boris about this. Holy shit, he's gonna he's gonna lose his mind. You mean Jake? Of course. It's hot. I was just thinking, you know. I uh uh what are you doing? Wait, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna shut it up! Yeah! I think it's time for Jack to let it rip! Is Jesus with you? Nah, he's not in at the moment, but I could take a message. Bitch! Well, I guess I have to RPG it. I don't. I don't see any other way. No flash photography. Hell yeah! We destroyed all the cameras. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this game does a tremendous job at just being epic. Don't 
Don't f with me, boy. How about I f with this? Good night, woman. God damn! Mister, report! Your vitals are dropping. No, that, no, they've dropped. I lost. Crazy son of a bitch. Raiden? Raiden, what happened? Raiden? Raiden, it's been a whole ten minutes we'll since we last talked. Secure I was starting to get worried. Help. Skies lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Immediately, disguise failed. Shit. I've been made, chat. <laughs> I can't with this game. <laughs> Adios, amigos. <laughs> this fing game, bro. We got dialogue. Most <laughs> hey baby, just, just called you to say bye. <laughs> that sounds about right. And they might just open fire. They might just open. Oh fuck! <laughs> no! Why does this guy always? Oh. I love how there's no like. It, there's, the, no. <laughs> there's no words, no nothing. The instantaneous. It, Reaction is punt him across the room. Coming for that ass! Oh, don't turn around, dickhead. Yep. Here's number four. Oh, found him. Well hidden, my ass. Oh, there we go. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin out! Kevin, calm down! I'm the MC, okay? You're the useless side character. Get it through your thick dome. I Unfortunately, this trophy, right. like, yeah. this trophy sucks. It's easily the worst one in the game. About... Yeah. Because it's just making yeah. my playthrough take so much longer. Like, it's awful. You can't wait to be done with this trophy. You f***er. Alright, Adolf, put it down. George. Let's not make this too messy. Listen, this can either end with you in five pieces or you in fifty. Break that glass and I'll blow his brains out. The choice is yours. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Good night. Oh, I was really hoping I'd get to chop him up myself. Get him. That's right. Um. What happened? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> right, me. Oh no! Raiden can destroy a massive Metal Gear Ray in the span of minutes, but gravity? Hell no. Anti-cyborg sentiment. The level trophy here requires you to complete the Dark Abandoned Railroad sequence on this mission without using AR mode vision. So I gotta do this part without turning on the thingy. How are you, man? Silver bag? As in the gorilla? Gorilla! No! No, 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 no! no. Gorilla! 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 About time. I Fine, walked in the dark, chat. Memes. The DNA of the soul. Did you just say memes? <laughs> the memes. <laughs> this is my normal. My nature. I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> 
I made sure he'd never meme again, Chad. In. Nice. Get it. Get it, boy. Yeah. Just get in the elevator. Just get in the f***ing chopper. For security heat sources inside the world. Doctor, please. Enough. Thank you. What is happening? Oh! Oh wait, he said that? God, I I can't get over how f***ing cool this weapon is. Like it's it's the stupidest looking, most fun weapon I've ever used in a game. I've never seen a weapon look so dumb, but be so fun to use. And looks so cool while fighting with it. It's it's honestly incredible. Like look at this thing, man. It's amazing. Woo! You ain't get me, my boy. You can't grab me if you don't have arms. Ah! Fuck! I don't know how to get higher. I don't know how to get higher. Climb the lanterns? Oh shit, you're brilliant! Wait a minute. Let him cook, chat. Woo! Let's go. Get that shit off my building! Yeah. I couldn't be more annoyed. Die! Calm down. Calm down, Matt. Calm down, Matt. Calm down. You'll get the bird demon eventually, bro. Maybe in the next, like, hour? Holy. Okay, nope. Nope. Come on! They're gonna stun me every minute! Are you are you kidding me? I died! No! you! Ah! I swear, if I get stunned one more time, this controller through the wall! Alright, let's find out where the next collectible is, shall we? <laughs> Got yourself shaving? with his anime oh my god bro a man of culture oh my god <laughs> hi there stranger hey what You're looking good that's exactly what i was thinking holy shit she looks a thousand times better than she did in um mgs4 she looks like dog shit in mgs4 i hated her character model <laughs> Oh my, okay, bro. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna jack and you're gonna rip. 
<laughs> no, bro. Oh, shit. oh, I got his arm. We're good. Did you just say you're kind of jack? Yeah, but not that kind of jack. Whoa. The memes. The memes. You're American. You're number one. Whatever this guy takes, is America wrong, personified. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. Ain't that the truth? Sons of the Patriots now! Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about, bro. God, right is nuts. Okay! Now this is what I was talking about! This is what I wanted! Slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh my god, what is he, a sumo wrestler? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Jesus. Fatality. High frequency wooden sword? What? Okay. Oh. Alright, we got two trophies. Three trophies. So that's 25 now. Oops. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. No more bitching and moaning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. See, chat, I told you I had it in the bag the whole time, bro. Right. Oh my god. Best trophy streamer hands down, no contest. Damn, the compliments. What you lack uh, is this. Thought you like it. Doctor about my dick pain? Doctor, about my pain. It's not well, it would Hey Kev, that piece of shit. Hey Kev, that piece of shit who yeah, he's <laughs> I have to say, Doc, it's almost scary how big my dick I have is. To say, Doc, it's almost scary everything. That oh, you think? Oh, we can't let him give away our position. EMP! You get bruh? You, you saved my life. Thank you. Humanitarian assistance. There's no way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, obviously. Or wait, I think one die. Whoever you don't choose dies. Is that a thing? Is this game canon? No. Also, hell yeah, we got another trophy, my boy. If you save the civilian on the roof, use an EMP grenade. After picking him up, uh, he will stop around the corner, attack him to shred his clothes off. What? Oh, that's secret dialogue. That's awesome. Oh, I have to do that, bro. All right, dipshit, get up. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Don't let those fuckers get away with this, okay? Thank you so much. Really, Raiden? Ripping off people's clothes? Raiden, what are you doing? Right. what are you doing? Raiden, what the hell, man? Raiden, what the hell, man? This is your idea of a good time? Stripping dudes in public? Right. Sorry. Sorry. It was an accident. Well, now I don't need any Kodak calls. Thank God! Now I can just... That is a huge load off my mind. Missions will go by so much faster. Well, I want... Okay, I want to hear the rest of the dialogue, though, just because this is a funny moment, so... Raiden? What the hell do you call that? Uh, I... It was a... a... Sick, Raiden. I call it sick. <laughs> you can save your own damn data. 
Wait, is Wolf gonna judge me? For all his achievements, man is still capable of such depravity. <laughs> still driven by such cruel impulses. Wolf, I... <laughs> I know it is your instinct to test the limits. Still, I find it pitiful. Oh my god, I think Wolf's was probably the most, like, make me feel bad. <laughs> Damn, sorry, bro. I feel like I just ruined your life. I feel like... Oh, f what the hell? I looked away for one second and he disappeared. Holy shit. God, I feel like the way my friends just reacted to me, I feel like I took the brunt of that. I, I got it worse than he did. <laughs> it's weird suddenly realizing that I don't have to codec at all. It's It's strange. It's gonna be, it's actually such a liberating feeling to be able to play this game without having to codec. It's, it's really weird. Wait, data storage number 70. This is the one I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you climb up the building. Okay. Nice, there's the data storage. Hey, there we go, data mining. Hey, we got Wolf Hunter. Nice. Starting the stream off strong. Nice. We got our executions. Okay, so wait. Maybe I can go Ripper mode. Hang on. So I'll hit him once. Twice. Okay. So I should be able to chop the arm now. If I don't get repeatedly stunned like 80 times. Which they love to do. I swear enemies just love to spam stun you. Alright. Yeah, it, it is literally the most infuriating shit ever. Enemies just spam stun, bro. Wow, this enemy's such a dickhole. Holy shit, that enemy's an asshole, bro. Wow! Did you, did you see how he literally just wouldn't let me play the game? That was crazy. Was that seven minutes? No idea, probably not. Oh, it was four minutes and 34 seconds. Never mind. Okay, we got it. Anytime you wanna... Pop? There we go. Oh yeah, and I got the last left arm too, perfect. Hold the left stick while using blade mode. Bro, look, I'm in blade mode. Hey, look, I'm holding the left stick. Oh, you can move! Oh, what the f Wait, so you can, you can look around, right? But then if you click the analog in, you can move. Oh, f I didn't even know that. Wait, maybe this can be done. All right, here we go, I'm on my adventure. I'm just gonna walk right in like I own the damn place. I spent millions of American dollars off. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay, so all we got to do is get in there, right? And then once I'm in, just walk in like you own the place, my boy. <laughs> Okay, wait till he f***s off. And then keep him frozen in time. <laughs> Just walk right on by. Just walked right through, my boy. Oh, thank God, that was my last hammerhead. Woo! But it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To barricade young people, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Hey, well, okay, apparently I miscounted on the no kills, but there we go. That was my last one. Once I had finished my first playthrough of this game, and after using Chapter Select for some trophy cleanup, I decided to try my hand at what would be this game's first big challenge, called the VR Missions.
bro. I got gold. No way, bro. That could that was suboptimal. That could have been done better. And I still gold ranked it. Damn. Wow. Okay. Not only did I have to clear all 20 VR missions, but I was also required to earn a gold rank in each and every one of them. And little did I know this would end up being one of the hardest things for me to do in this entire game. Arrive at the specified waypoint. Sure, let's do that. Woo! Oh, did he do it? Wait, no, I definitely didn't. What was the timer? Oh my god, it is 20 seconds. How the f*** was I supposed to be faster than that? We're just gonna take a look around. Don't worry about that. I can get stunned like 30 times. It's all good. Hey, look, a hidden wall. That's interesting. Okay, that's gotta be it. Yeah, here we go. That was the run right there. But it's like, how are you not supposed... Like, that felt luck-based. In it, how exactly was I supposed to avoid that without losing time? <laughs> It feels so out of my hands, like nothing I do changes the outcome, it's just, will the game let it happen? Oh wow, that was the fastest I ever got through. No way! Oh, get fucked! The good RNG, bro! Wow, I got good RNG! So I won! Yippee! Now, for many of these VR missions, I didn't have an overwhelming amount of trouble with them. I got the mo downloaded, my boy. Please, God, kill him. Oh, thank God. Okay, please don't fuck up on this one, Matt. I am a god. And that's why they call me the God Gamer! <laughs> yeah! Kobe. This mission is so silly because it's literally just shoot shit and that's it. Like, what skill is there to this? Look at the enemy and hit the button. Oh, so difficult. That one was the dumbest one, definitely. Why is MGR not considered canon? Uh, because it's just... Oh, for sakes, bro. Because it's just like a wacky interpretation of the M Metal Gear universe. Like, the shit Raiden does in this game, he should not be able to do. Like, if you think about it, what reason is there to even have people like Snake when, when you have Raiden running around being a Giga Chad? Oh, f Like, he, he, he trivializes all the other characters, mainly Snake. Like, why even, like, Snake is supposed to be the GOAT who you send, like, when you have a problem, when the military has a problem, you, you go to Snake. He's your first call on speed dial. And then there's Raiden. <laughs> like, why ever call Snake again? Nah, you sit this one out, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call up Raiden, get him to bring about world peace. Just another Tuesday for my boy. Tell me I freaking did it with my own strat that I tried and tested. Okay. Why do the geckos sound like cows? I have no idea what the creative thought process was behind that decision. Why do the geckos sound like cows? Some of them were tricky for sure, but eventually they get done. And I wasn't stressing out too much. That is, until I got to VR Mission 18. And this mission was so goddamn hard for some of the most ridiculous reasons. You know what I, you know what I re get really frustrated at, particularly in this mission? You know how the entire room is like completely symmetrical? It's impossible to tell if you're facing the right side because it's so important to know where the enemies are gonna show up so that you're more prepared for them. Like the Mastiffs are about to spawn, right? I don't know if I need to be facing this way or this way. I have no no idea. Oh, you know what? I just realized what it is. I realized why the camera gets a mind of its own sometimes. It's when you approach a wall. The camera wants to turn. Notice how whenever I get close to one of the walls, the camera starts like trying to have its way. It's the wall that's triggering it. That's 
god. What a horrible design. That I feel like that problem could be so easily fixed, too. Like, just disable it. Just turn it off. Do I always have to be facing the wrong way? Like, literally every f***ing time? I... Oh, my God. Like, why couldn't they just make one of the walls have, like, a f***ing shit stain on it so that I could tell that's the way I need to be facing? Holy f***, dude. Is that too much to ask? Oh, my... Oh my god. Oh my god, that's literally my most hated thing about this mission. Is never knowing which way to face when the wave spawns in. I'm, I actually despise that more than the actual challenge of fighting the enemies themselves. You know why? Because like, I know with the enemies, I just need to get good and practice. But with the never knowing which way to face, it's a, it's a random factor. It's just RNG bullshit f***ing me over. I don't need that random little f*** over thing to be making this harder for me than it already is. Why is the goddamn room symmetrical? F***! Oh my god, man. It's so frustrating. To put into perspective how difficult this was, I ended up failing this mission over and over for nearly four hours straight. And four hours to finally accomplish something is a pretty damn long time, even for me. I finally f***ing did it. Holy shit. Okay, well, the dog's dead. This is the best chance I've had in a while. Those hammer guys are f***ing terrifying. Holy shit. Okay, like, shit. I- No, wait. Let me do pincer. It staggers them, right? I f***ing hope to God it does. It does not stagger them. Terrifying. Oh, f Wait, I can kill him. I need to finish this fight soon. If I go over 10 minutes, I won't get gold. I don't know if this is gonna take more than two minutes. Um, it, it actually just might. I might be here. I might have took too long on the hammer, guys. That would be so depressing. And I think that might actually be the case. I think it's done. I think it's gumbled over. That's tragic. Just over 10 minutes, too. Oh, man, that is actually so tragic. Be safe, wait it out. Build up the meter, chop his arm off, let him despawn. Yeah, it was literally that easy, chat. Look how much of a time save that is. Oh, uh, well, that's interesting. Huh. And here, and here I was acting like I had the W. I side him and nothing happened. <laughs> I went to stun him and it just pinged off. He said, mm-mm. Not again with that bullshit, bro. I land the perfect parry, but he, he's facing someone else. Whatever. Holy f Bro, I don't even like. Mm. It's hard to keep my mental positive after the shit that's gone down. No way, bro! How many times have I been able to get away with a hit and run strategy against them? I've and 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 it just goes to shit every time I get a successful run, or rather like a chance at one. The worst thing imaginable happens, man! Fuck! cannot be! The item must have this! You are supposed to be stronger than this! Now, I could have parried or dodged if I was good at the game. I had options there. 
Well, literally because of this mission, if I end up platinuming this game, this game just solidified a top five most difficult. It's coming in at number five, 100%. Okay, now the only thing that could possibly go wrong, chat, is if I get a really bad hitbox on the side again. Okay, that should be GG unless I shit the bed. Holy f bro. I'd pop off, but I'm so dead inside. God damn, dude. I had to go through way too much fuckery before they gave me that W. I, I, I would have popped off hard if I didn't have to work that hard for it. VR Mission 19 was the last mission I needed to gold rank, and it was definitely one of the hardest ones. It took me another two and a half hours just to clear this one. Why is it every time an enemy approaches me, my camera 180s, man? What's wrong? Oh, like literally without fail, an enemy will run right up to me, camera whips around. It's it's like the game is trying to sabotage you intentionally. But eventually I did, and I was proud of myself for completing this mission without using the game-breaking invincibility glitch which would have made completing this mission a thousand times easier. So there was this moment where I wanted to execute him and it, he was fully stunned and it just wasn't giving me the prompt. I have no idea why, but thank God he didn't die on that next hit. Oh my God, I would have been so f***ing sad. Woo! Hey, stun it! Custom cyborg body yellow? More importantly, a trophy. Huh? Hell yeah. With the VR missions out of the way, it was finally time for me to start my Revengeance difficulty playthrough. Difficulty, Revengeance. Let's do it. Now, it was at this point that I was only missing a handful of trophies throughout the game. For instance, there were trophies to beat every single major boss without taking damage. Not only that, but during my Revengeance difficulty playthrough, I was required to earn an S rank on every single mission. What's nice about this is if you take no damage during a ranked battle, throughout any mission, you gain a huge score bonus, making earning an S rank a lot easier. And so going for no damage on the bosses at the same time as my Revengeance run actually made a lot of sense, and I decided to group all of those trophies together for convenience. The first major boss of the game was Metal Gear Ray, and although this was the only boss in the game that didn't have his own no damage trophy, taking no damage during this fight was still my best option in order to gain an S rank. Metal Gear Ray was ironically one of the harder bosses in the game to not take damage on because his mission was the only mission in the game where you're not allowed to use any of your in-game unlocks or upgrades. And so this was an honest trial and error fight that was Actually, a lot of fun to learn. What do you have to do for this trophy? Uh, for this particular boss, we need to beat him without taking damage. And we also need to beat him as fast as possible. So that means I need to be very careful with like how I spend my time. You, this fight can take a lot longer if you're not parrying him. Uh, which will f*** up your time requirement. So we need to be parrying him as much as possible. Oh my god. Taking a bit longer than I would prefer. Stop, please. No way that hit, bro. Like, you see how he just like keeps hopping away from me and shit? Like sometimes his behavior can just f you over. And it, and it's just running the clock the whole time too. No, I don't need the trophy for the tail. I just want to cut his tail because it lowers the boss's health. It would be an easy parry. He refuses to give it to me, bro. Well, I didn't delete him. Whatever, I'm just gonna play the fight out. 
It'll be interesting if I get hit here because I never have gotten hit here before. Rank the first mission. Right. There is a boy in these sewers. <laughs> right, and there is a boy in these sewers. Right, in response with Jack the Ripper laugh. <laughs> oh my right. God, right. There is a boy in these sewers. What are you gonna do? Bad news, right. Bad news, right. Can't find George. There's a boy what? in the sewer. Maybe. No one. You th I shit. I just killed everyone in the sewer. He was probably among them. <laughs> Why does he tell me I sued her, Courtney? <laughs> His blood's on your hands, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. I'm role playing, bro. Once I had earned an S rank for the prologue on Revengeance difficulty, I now had access to all of my unlockable upgrades. And one of these upgrades stood out from the rest. The Infinite Wig B. Now, if you equip this wig, not only can you use Blade Mode for as long as you want, but you could also stay in Ripper Mode for as long as you want. Is it better to do this, I wonder? Because you slow down time, right? So technically this should be a lot better. Yeah, drop to the one. And during Ripper mode, you basically one to two shot every enemy type in the game. Now some people might look at this unlock and say that you're trivializing the difficulty of the challenge. And some people think that this unlock is too unfair and is in poor taste to use. And I have my own opinion that I want to voice in regards to this unlock. To be honest, there were several moments throughout this game where I felt like the Infinite Wig B was too powerful. And despite being on Revengeance difficulty, some of the fights throughout the game were kind of a joke. Now that being said, you guys know that I love a good challenge. And I was definitely considering not using the Infinite Wig B during my Revengeance run. But if I'm being completely honest, there was one thing, one singular thing, that ultimately made me want to use the wig, and that was MGR's f***ing camera. You guys have already heard me complain about this game's camera several times throughout this video, and that's because it is the single worst thing about playing this otherwise incredible game, and I can't stress that enough. The camera in this game isn't just broken, it's actively working against you, f***ing you over in any way possible. And I've seen this enough times throughout my journey with this game, that I can honestly say this might just be the worst camera that I've ever had to deal with in a video game. Or at least one of the worst. I can't remember another game that pissed me off this much when it came to the camera. Here's a bunch of times that the camera was unreasonably bad. I can't see anything. I can't see, what am I aiming at? What's my goal here, do I have a target? The f***ing camera got me hit. Like, do you see that shit? I start sprinting at this guy after I go into Ripper mode, and the camera does this. So now I'm running at him like this. In what world do you think I want the camera to do that? Come on, Gecko. F there you go. The camera keeps going out of its way to dick me. Every time the gecko's about to charge, the camera literally 180s toward the wall where I can't see it. Please, God. And, like, what is that, bro? I blade mode right in literal 180s to look at something not anywhere near me. Like, what the f***, dude? Like, what? <laughs> do you see what I mean, though? The second I go to aim, Raiden looks up at the sky, at, at nothing. There's no enemy on screen. He just looks up at the fucking sky. Can the 
fucking camera! I'm literally holding right on the stick and the camera's just not moving. Holy fuck, bro. I recorded more moments than this, but you get the idea. The camera in this game is insufferable. And it's because of this one thing that I needed to enforce my bottom line. If I'm playing a game where I'm considering doing a challenge run, I need to enjoy every single aspect of that game. And I will only do challenge runs in games where I am only having fun. And yes, this game is tons of fun. It's a truly magnificent game. But dealing with this dog shit camera on top of the challenge of playing on the hardest difficulty itself, I know that it would turn out 70% miserable, 30% fun. And I'm just not willing to do that. If there's something that is particularly bullshit in a game that causes the player a lot of grief, then I have absolutely no qualms about using an in-game advantage to help me combat said bullshit. It's not something I'll feel ashamed of, and you shouldn't either. What's important here is that the player is having fun above all else. And if you want to be miserable when you're completing a challenge like this in a game, then by all means. For me personally, I have enough bullshit in my life. I don't need my escape, aka video games, to bring me even more misery than I already have. And for the record, even if you are using Infinite Wig B, Revengeance difficulty is not without its challenges. Sure, I was able to defeat the first few bosses without taking damage, and it didn't take me very long to accomplish this. However, once I got to Monsoon, this would be my first big difficulty spike during my Revengeance playthrough. And taking no damage during this boss fight was actually pretty rough considering there's only one checkpoint and it's at the end of the fight. So if I ever did end up taking damage, I would have to replay the entire boss fight from the beginning. No, I tried to... Damn it. Foresee a lot of restarts? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Why am I dog? <laughs> I took damage? What? I don't even know what hit me there. No! That run around you bullshit! The grenade. The grenade damages you. Have <laughs> a smoke. Oh yeah, you're clever, monster. No, he came from behind. I was doing so good. Okay, that time I greeted out. I you need to be so hyper aware of his grenade. He could drop it at any time. I hate when I'm up against the wall like this because like it's the camera really f***s you here. Yeah, see. Yeah, when you're up against the wall, the camera just goes ape shit, and it's really hard to see where Monsoon is coming from. Okay, gotta get ready to parry. No, I for. Oh, I didn't see the fourth helicopter. No, like that's what I mean. He could do it any time, like literally at any time. That's why I'm always weary of it. Nope, got to back off. He could grenade. I think I'm chat. I think I screwed up missing that. Oh wow, I. No! Oh. No! Oh, I feel like no matter what I feel like no matter what I mentally prepare myself for, he pulls a new, a new trick out of the fucking hat, bro. But I'm noticing some other people in chat have been giving away the answer. I'm assuming it's just a lot easier if you literally just run. And I'm sure it is. But now I kind of want to do it my way. No, I'm doing it the mat way. F the easier way. It's not a mat way if I'm not suffering the whole time. Let's go! 
If there's anything I know about me and achieving great accomplishments, it's that I have to suffer first. I'm like the modern day Jesus of video games. I think we're good. I suffer for my trophy hunting community so they don't have to. I did it my way. Bullseye! And then we have the therapeutic slash the shit out of the mother who made you miserable! Bitch! Woo! No damage! Let's go! Cheers! Once I had finally defeated Monsoon, I felt rather accomplished. However, little did I know that the next mission would be the hardest mission in the game by far on Revengeance difficulty. And this mission without question had the most difficult battles to overcome. No f***ing way, bro. Okay, this time I'm gonna parry. And I'm gonna run. Nope, wasn't even allowed to run. I was stuck in hit animation. Maybe I'll just meet the requirement without having to no damage it. That'd be nice. Damn it! I don't even know how you're expected to do this shit. This room sucks. Bro. Like the camera is awful. Everything's against you in this room. Like six doggos. Please tell me I asked. Please God. It says 4,900. Am I a hundred points off? No fucking way I'm a hundred points off. So if I just didn't miss that Zondatsu. Oh my God. Fuck. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I really don't see how you're supposed to- JESUS! They took like three nano pastes! Wow! This sucks! <laughs> you fight. I ripped that fight's head off and shit down its neck. Shut up, doctor. Come on! F*** your RPGs, man! Oh my, I lost so much nano paste for that, bro. <gasps> Fuck this guy. Oh my, that's so annoying. Stop! Oh my god. Wow, that's incredibly annoying. Shoot, please. Oh, it's just the one? Fuck, I thought there were two. He took a nano paste. Oh, stop! Please! Oh, I can't even use it! No! Oh, my rocket launcher guys are literally the most annoying thing ever. Literally the worst! Oh my, I'm dead! Being griefed by RPGs, like, RPG units suck! Holy shit! What the hell? No! No! The Mastiffs! No! What? No! 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 He took three nano pace! Oh my god! Not three, bro! <gasps> the Mastiffs! <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm pretty f The Mastiffs took all my nano paste. The Mastiffs. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I think I... Oh. I'm sorry, dog shit gameplay makes me sick. Let's go. 
I can't hit the weak point! No! <laughs> so how exactly was I supposed to avoid damage there when the camera's giga me? Wow, this level sucks. Holy f It's like every fight is annoying. Every single one. It doesn't let up. God, that f***ing... No! Don't! No, I got grabbed! No! It does damage! Why do grabs do damage? I'm f***ing pressing triangle circle! Why is the game ignoring me? After going at this mission for several hours, it actually got to the point where I got so stressed out that I felt like I had reached my breaking point, and I had to physically force myself to stop playing the game for the sake of my mental health. And this ultimately ended up being a really good call, because sometimes it's best to just step away and take a break. And I speak from experience when I say, this technique can work wonders, and it would allow me to come back stronger than ever. And so I didn't continue this mission until the next day. Stand back, Matt is about to flat. Mm -hmm. Oh nice, we stunned the other Mastiff. Yo, where are you, where are you off to, Sunny Jim? Oh my god, did he finally do it? He finally did it, boys. Once Mission 4 was completed, nothing else throughout Revengeance difficulty would come remotely close to what I had to deal with during Mission 4. And thankfully, it was for the most part downhill from here. Come on. Please, God. Okay, thank God. Staring across this barren, wasted land, I feel a new life before. Beneath the blood stained sand. Okay, now. It's a hundred? It's a hundred? Okay. Well done, Jack. No damage on Armstrong. So, oh wait, hang on, I want to take a look at the time real quick. So, if I go to my save files, yeah, it says 24 hours and 13 minutes for total playtime, but that's not including all the time that I would back up my file after making a mistake. So this is probably, if I had to say, it's probably closer to like, yeah, I think maybe it's like 27, 28 actually. It's probably around there. So was it worth it? Well, in truth, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was one of the best video games that I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing, hands down. And I am so glad that I played this game. Extremely fun gameplay, lovable characters, and a killer soundtrack make this game an absolute treasure. 
and it will forever be one of my most memorable experiences. My literal only complaint was the dog shit camera. And unfortunately, it did very negatively affect my overall experience with this game. And I could have had so much more fun with it if it wasn't for the camera. And so that was truly unfortunate. However, I do think the best things about this game shine through. And despite the camera, I would recommend this game to anybody who would welcome an unforgettable experience. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for all things trophy related, and of course hit that notification bell to support me. I would really appreciate that. Be sure to check out the full Platinum Experience playlist over on my channel for many more Platinum Trophy videos on other games. And lastly, I live stream here on my channel every week. My live stream schedule is down in the description. So if you guys want to see how these videos are made in real time, consider stopping by to check it out. Anyways, that's going to be it for me, so take it easy, have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.